Good day again, St. Lucia, and welcome to the program, Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney. Today we will be discussing the COCO project, which is organized and coordinated by the Ministry of Agriculture. And of course, we'll give you an update on our COCO festival. With me is, is Mr. Eloy Alexis, who is the Chief Extension Officer attached to the Ministry of Agriculture and is also the point person for the COCO project. Welcome to the program, Mr. Alexis. Welcome. Um, thank you, Mr. Sidney. Um, good day to all. Let me um, just start off by saying um, thanks for bringing me on so as um, I can share in terms of the latest development which is taking place in the COCO sector, which is finance. Um, by the government of St. Lucia and the Republic of China and Taiwan, and also your upcoming festival um, in Sufre. Definitely. Uh, Everybody is looking forward to that festival. Indeed. But um, before we get to that, um, give us an overview of the COCO project in St. Lucia. All right. So the government, um, in its wisdom, saw the need to really um, um, enhance the COCO sector because of a number of, of the um, development which is, was taking place in that sector and we all know the situation that we are faced with banana and we have been um, speaking about um, agricultural diversification mm -hmm. and um, we saw the need for us to really um, at least give momentum to that subsector. So under the COCO um, sector enhancement program there are a number of um, initiatives we are going to undertake. It is a three years project, and um, under that project, we are going to um, at least um, rehabilitate 278 acres of, um, expand by, um, sorry, expand by 278 acres, and rehabilitate 198 acres of cocoa. We are going to provide training to farmers and agro-processors. So we are going to provide training in the agronomy of the crop. Also, the bath propagation will be the center for the production of seedlings. So we are going to facilitate um, seedlings to the farmers. And these seedlings have been sold or are being sold to the farmers at a subsidized price of $2. Or rather, I should say, a further subsidized price of two dollars, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because um, the the normal um, subsidy on plants is four or five dollars. But with that project, we further brought it down to two dollars. Okay, all right. Uh, where exactly, in terms of location, the that project is a, is a, a attacking? Um, the project is an island-wide project, mm -hmm. but you know, with cocoa cultivation you must have the microclimatic condition yes, yes, yes. for it to really grow. So in terms of um, getting the right um, microclimatic condition for cocoa, we all know the Sufre area is the cradle for cocoa cultivation. Region 1 and 2, region um, 4 to some extent, region um, 7, and um, well, region 8, we can see the dynamic which is taking place in that um, region that every, um, every time that that in terms of the land mass for, for mm -hmm. farming in that area is contracting. Mm -hmm. But in terms of um, the micro climatic condition ex which exists in that area, um, it is deemed conducive for the cultivation of cocoa. The number of farmers uh, that have been targeted? Um, so we are trying in terms of um, targeting uh, at least 300 farmers to um, get on board. Thus far, I mentioned um, the production of seedlings. Thus far, we have distributed um, 6,700 seedlings. So that roughly um, translates 
in terms of acreage, um, in terms of expansion, 17 new acres of cocoa mm -hmm. has been um, established under this um, project. In terms of rehabilitation, uh, have, that, have you all started that yet? Um, no, we know that um, in terms of um, you have to target, you must target the, um, the, in terms of that exercise, must be approached at the right time. We do not want to go and prune cocoa during the rainy season. Mm -hmm. We all know what that might um, create in terms of um, the moisture, the cocoa might be flowering or fruiting, and also the moisture level, is, especially if a fruit is um, infested or a tree infested with um, the, um, the fungus. Um, it is a, there's a great tendency that I'm um, having to go in there and disrupt and do all these changes in the cocoa mm -hmm. that you might be spreading that um, the, the spores of the fungus around, especially so in, the black pod. In, t in terms of ac the acreage that you're hoping to um, establish uh, during the project period, how many acres are you looking at? Or as I said, we are trying to um, establish in terms of um, 279 79. acres oh, okay. of cocoa. Okay, in total. So that's a revise because um, initially, um, in terms of the budget we had requested, we were um, requesting $5 million, mm. but we did not get that amount, so we got um, something less than that. And um, for this, we had to um, revise the oh, scope okay. of the project. Okay, yes. great. In terms of farmer interest, uh, have, have you seen uh, an interest uh, in farmers coming forward, knowing of this project and wanting to reestablish their cocoa uh, fields? Definitely so, especially the estates, um, especially on the West Coast side, that uh, most of the estates have seen the, um, the need and the opportunities which exist in the cocoa subsector. Mm. So most of them are coming in and they are rehabilitating, replacing um, trees which are moribund mm -hmm. or which, which has been dead. And also they are expanding the acreage of cocoa. Mm -hmm. I know um, we have some major pro uh, pro producers uh, or estates. Can you give an idea of those major estates? All right. So the major estates, as I said, um, the Soufre area is the most dynamic mm -hmm. or prolific area when it comes to cocoa um, um, production. And um, some of the major estates in that area, we have um, Union Vale. Um, I think it's the largest estate in St. Lucia and even the OECS. Okay. We have um, um, Fordo, which is owned by Leeton Lamontine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we have um, Hotel Chocola, as you really know, mm -hmm. so uh, they have come in and um, they have um, at least um, invested a lot in the cocoa subsector. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a, a number, Nick um, and Chastney and Emerald Estate, he has two farms. Wow. So, producing um, 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 cocoa. Mm -hmm. But the interesting things about these estates, right now they have incorporated tourism so uh. on most of these estates they have um, um eco lodge where people can come in and stay mm -hmm. and also they have gone further in terms of adding value to cocoa so most of the estates that i mentioned they are um, involved in the production of uh, dark chocolate mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. Mm. In terms of the, I know, mm -hmm. I know we have had uh, Jid Mountain has come on board and they mm -hmm. have done quite a lot of work, and we uh, we also have um, um, Hotel Chocolate. I know they have they have um, a program with farmers, and I know they have been working with farmers by giving them plants, and and in turn the farmers are giving them the raw material raw to work materials. with. Um, uh, the ministry is on board. Are they working in tandem with the ministry? Um, at times, they would um, call and um, find out in terms of where or who are the producers of cocoa, mm -hmm. not in the Soufre Basin, but on the east side. So we have um, given them information um, in terms of um, who are the producers. And um, currently, they have established a buying depot on the east side, which is by oh. Trumasi, okay. where they have, that is their buying point where I think every Wednesday they go down there and they purchase beans from the wet beans from the farmers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving forward, 
do you think that the, you have also um, some of the smaller farmers are coming on board knowing that the project is there and there is a, a market for cocoa? Yes, so you find a lot of people coming of the smaller farmers or persons with um, very, um, let's say an acre, half an acre, coming on board, showing an interest in terms of planting cocoa because they have seen in terms of the price which is being paid per mm -hmm. pound, dry beans right now. Mm -hmm. um, currently, a pound of dry beans is being sold at um, 12, 13, 14 dollars, okay. which is um, almost 200 percent. Mm -hmm. 200 percent um, from, let's say, two or three years ago. Okay. So the people have seen that opportunity and that they're going and um, establish cocoa. There's a, a cocoa fermentary up in Angers who mm -hmm. um, that has been does not com been commissioned for a while. Mm -hmm. um, how and is that pro, uh, cocoa fermentary fitting into the whole melee? All right, so that um, cocoa um, fermentary was um, financed under the, the BAM. Um, and the vision behind it was to assist those um, small to medium producers mm -hmm. um, in terms of um, the drying and fermenting of the beans because um, that is one aspect of cocoa cultivation for you to get the um, desired aroma of the beans mm -hmm. that you the right that you must follow the right fermentation process mm -hmm. so that was done but it had been the, um, the facility had been um, idle for um, some times but um, just I think two years ago um, um, the government of St. Lucia, in its wisdom, saw the need to um, at least list the property to an English um, St. Lucian national. And um, so pretty soon, up to last week, I had a meeting with them. And they will be going around, buying the beans from the farmers, and fermenting the beans, and adding value to it right here in St. Lucia. Okay. Um, does the project assist the farmers uh, with fertilization and also pest management? Um, well, as I said, the budget was revised, mm -hmm. so um, we did not have a component in terms of um, providing um, fertilizer to farmers. But with regards to pruning, we, um, the project has a pruning component where we're going to assist the farmer in pruning the cocoa. That is one of the areas that we need that needs urgent attention mm -hmm. in terms of a lot of the um, cocoa estates on island, they are not being maintained properly. And when I speak about maintenance in terms of um, the trees, mm -hmm. the permanent trees is too, it's too shady. And um, we all know um, the situation that we have been faced in terms of the temperature that you have a um, high level of, um, of um, a high temperature coupled with um, a high um, um, humidity mm -hmm. on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that is the perfect um, combination mm -hmm. for the spread of fungus. fungus. And um, even this year, what I've noticed by um, going around um, to the various estates, um, yield will be significantly um, reduced because mm -hmm. of that in oh, terms okay. of um, the problem with black pod. Okay. So the high, there's a high level of um, infestation of black pod which is caused by the fungus and this is due mainly because um, um, the variation in temperature you get a um, high temperature and then you get the rain afterwards okay so you, so you say that um, based on uh, the environmental condition mm -hmm. there's a growth of the fungal disease on the, so the fungus is basically proliferating mm -hmm. under that condition mm -hmm. so that is the condition it likes high temperature coupled with humidity but in addition to that, do you all encourage um, the, men, the control by pest management? Um, in terms of rodent, mm -hmm. um, will the project um, might be looking at in terms of um, providing bits mm -hmm. for, um, for the control of um, rodents on the field. But in terms of um, disease management per se, um, the other pertinent um, disease in cocoa was witch's broom. Mm -hmm. Um, when we first detected that disease, we had several workshops with farmers in terms of um, training them in terms of the management of the witch's broom. Mm -hmm. So it is still around, but not as before in terms of the level of infestation. So okay. the, right now, the most important or pertinent um, issue with cocoa as a result of climate change 
is the spread of right. um, black pod and fungus. Great. Yeah. We are due for our first break. You are watching Agriculture on the Move. We are due for a break. We'll be back soon. Ministre Agricole en collaboration avec Regional Fondation Soufouya qui a présenté Festival Kako, Ikaïbe Show, 15 octobre pour le trapot Soufouya. Kaïni en l'eau, produit Kako, comme disait Matin pour ses terres au souhait. Festival Kako, c'est pour toute famille. 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 Bagay la gai ho, bagay la gai show. Festival Kako. There will be lots of entertainment. Manasa, Misha, Avot Service, Wuletete, Inveda, Manchas, Prado, T-Blast, Afa, Imran Nadi, Ezra, et DYB. There will be lots to eat and drink. Special appearance by legendary artist Jashim. Holy Smooth Demon Jimmy. Pama Jessa, Saho. Buy show, Festival Move, and of course, if you're just joining us, we're talking about Coco, the Coco Project, as is been established in Saint Lucia, financed by government of Saint Lucia and the Republic of China, Taiwan. Mr. Alexander, I know another component is training of the farmers. Mm -hmm. um, is, have that started or, or, or it, 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 has, it will be starting soon? All right. It will, it's supposed to have been um, started um, in terms of um, initiated, but um, under the second quarter. So right now we are moving on to the third quarter, mm -hmm. but the plan is so we are going to push it back onto the third quarter because of um, circumstances and um, some circumstances which arise but um the um, training the, of the farmers we have realized that the farmers need to be trained to industry standards and um when we um commissioned um, the rapid assessment of the sector it revealed that um the average um, field density is 169 plants per acre Okay. and that is not compatible with industry standard. Okay. So we need to bring these farmers on par in terms of establishing the correct planting density where they can use the traditional um, of using 300 plants or the standards of, um, of 400 plants per acre. Also in terms of pest and disease management, pruning, height management, so all of these things we need to train these farmers so that they can properly manage these estates or plants because if you don't manage the plant how can you really achieve the true genetic potential of the plant mm -hmm. because um, a lot of the plants that we have it is said that um, at least at least a farmer should obtain one kilogram of dry beans per plant now some farmers do more than that okay i know a farmer in Soufre. Um, they do up to two or three kilograms per tree. Mm -hmm. But at least anything below one kilogram, that, um, and even um, with the, um, the planting density, anything below that, that um, you cannot get in terms of um, what is expected per acre. That is your so economic viability. Viability, mm -hmm. so you need to get the correct, that is one of the critical factors that we need to address in having the farmers to get the um, correct planting density, to get um, the kind of yield that we um, um, hope to get. From so so are you saying that is a problem that you all have identified? That is a problem we have identified. Mm -hmm. Now that may have been so, as you might be aware that um, um, on the cuckoo estate, they intercrop it heavily mm -hmm. with other tree crops of economic importance, mm -hmm. the avocado right, right, and right. these things. So mm -hmm. hence that might be a reason. Mm -hmm. And the farmers may, um, may have not keep uh, um, an active regimen in terms of replanting their trees okay. over the years. So right now, as I said, you are seeing them, these estates, estates owners come in and buy plants and they are replacing um, the dead trees or moribund trees um, on the estates. On the estate. yeah. So the training is, is it both 
indoor training and outdoor training? What, 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 what so the training would have been indoor training and outdoor in terms of practical. And I um, just recently, this year, um, under the ACPM EES project financed by FAO or mm -hmm. the implementing agency, which is FAO, we are training our farmers in the fermentation drying of beans. So farmers benefited from that initiative. Mm -hmm. But this time around, we have not really targeted um, agronomy. So the agronomy training will be done under this project, the cocoa sector enhancement project, mm -hmm. which will be soon. So, okay, marketing is key because, I mean, the reason for that project is in to, in to increase production mm -hmm. and, of course, for marketing. Uh, is there a marketing component in that project? Uh, are you all working with marketing agencies to ensure the farmers have an outlet for those produce? Um, the situation right now, as it exists on the ground, that persons who are involved in cocoa trading, be it um, agro-processors or exporters, cannot get enough beans. So there is not an issue with, in terms of um, the, um, the marketing of the beans. But we have realized that cocoa, as a producer, as a primary producer, that person um, does not stand to gain much from just being a mere primary producer. Where the money lies in cocoa is adding value, 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 value to cocoa. Mm -hmm. um, under that project, we have proposed, we had some consultation with the farmers in terms of um, a governance structure for the industry. And we propose that um, we go through the route of a cooperative so that um, we bring in the producers of the raw material and the agro-processors. Or we um, elaborate products out of the raw material and we um, at least share the dividends among all. So the Anger fermentry, as it stands now, are they buying the raw material from the farmers? They are going to start. They have not started yet. They have not started as yet. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm working with them. As I said just last week, I had a meeting with them and they're requesting a list of um, producers so that they can go on the ground and have the agents work with these producers because they realize that there's competition on the ground with mm -hmm. Hotel Chocolat. Mm -hmm. So they want to, and for them to really attract these um, producers, the price that they're going to pay have to be competitive also or equal or eclipse that of Hotel Chocolat. So as I said, in terms of market availability, um, the market is there locally for farmers to sell right now any amount of beans that they have from Hotel, um, um, Hotel Chocolat and Chastney right now. Look, um, just yesterday um, I um, discovered that um, Viceroy Resort Sugar Beach in Soufre soon will be producing their own um, specialty chocolate. Mm. So they do not have any estate, so this means that um, they will be buy. buying the beans from the farm. So that's an additional market. And that's an additional market. And we have seen in terms of, um, so whenever there's scarcity, persons, the suppliers can regulate their prices. And what we have seen, we have seen the price of beans move from $6 to $14, $12. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. In terms of um, inputs, for the farmers. Is there a, a, already a, a availability of inputs for the farmers when they need it at the right time? Um, so under that project, we um, intend to address in terms of our uh, provide some inputs to farmers, especially um, um, weed eaters. So we are going to um, purchase the pool saws and we might not, we do not have, the fact, the brutal truth is that we do not have enough resources to provide all producers with a chainsaw or pole saw or um, how you call it, a weed eater. Mm. But we are going to make provision or provision has been made to assist the farmers in terms of the um, production inputs. The other variables, and I'm involved in the cultivation of um, cocoa, um, the fertilizer, if they want to use a fungicide, that they will have to go to um, the, the, um, the, the, the service providers, um, the supplier of these inputs mm -hmm. okay. to get them. Well, that takes me to the cocoa festival mm -hmm. because what we have seen is a lot of derivatives from cocoa. Um, a lot of the, uh, in other words, what I really want to see 
is the, the little person that's unknown mm -hmm. in, the, in the rural area who is doing a lot of cocoa, mm -hmm. from the cocoa sticks and other things that, that they right. are doing. That cocoa festival, um, like the other festivals we, ha mm -hmm. we have had, uh, on the heels of the, the, the coconut and cassava festival in Miku, is the cocoa festival mm -hmm. in Soufre. Yes. And that's happening on the 15th of October, mm -hmm. which is a, 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 when we, to commemorate World Food Day. Mm -hmm. World Food Day is on the 16th, mm -hmm. so we're, doing, we're really doing it on the 15th, which is oh, a 15th, Sunday. Yeah. And that's going, to, that's going to happen on the Old Trafford um, bus terminal complex, mm -hmm. which is the, where there's a market. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, We are hoping that to start at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. and that will go for the entire day. So we are hoping to have a showcasing of cocoa products. products yeah. And I know, and you, you have worked with a lot of the cocoa people down mm -hmm. there, you know who they are. Um, Hotel Chocola is on board in a big way, mm -hmm. Jade Mountain is on board in a big way, and a lot of the persons down who are in the Sofre area is on board. Mm -hmm. But it's not only for, for Soferians alone, it's, it's island-wide. So there mm -hmm. are people coming from the, other, from the east, like the, the rural women group, Mm -hmm. And you know they're producing the, ja the dark chocolate. chocolate okay, yeah. so they are going to be there. So we're going to really showcase what St. Lucians have been doing mm -hmm. with cocoa, and that again I think it it it, it enhances your project mm -hmm. because the more cocoa that's being produced, the more um, products that are going to be derived from cocoa, from cocoa. That, that are going to be produced. Mm -hmm. um, our chocolates are being, I mean, exported to various parts in the world, as you know, mm -hmm. all right? I know um, the women in Angers are doing very, very, very yeah, well, well, and they are, they are going to be there. Mm -hmm. So, for Saint Jacques, we have the Jaco Valley products. They are going to be present. So there are lots of persons. So far, I have about 16 persons that are going to be, um, be exhibiting the produce mm -hmm. on that day. But it's not only exhibition, but they have to market themselves. They'll mm -hmm. be selling on that day too. Yeah, that so there's an opportunity, a platform to for them to idea. tell them who they are mm -hmm. and we will give them that, that, that opportunity too. Mm -hmm. In fact, Jed Mountain says they're going to be doing uh, from the tree to the, the chocolate. chocolate. So, and they will be showing all of this. On, but that will also, a big, a big thing on that day, we have enhancement, we have entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, GYP is our main, our main, our main headliner. Um, headliner. And we have, a, I mean, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. I, I try to get a lot of people from down there. We have Mishak, mm -hmm. um, we have Manasseh, uh, we have Manchas, mm -hmm. we have Invida, we have Ezra, we and have... The legendary Dashin. The legendary <laughs> Dashin. Police put him on Jimmy. <laughs> and so it's going, to be, it's going to be fun. And mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. And everything Coco. The bars will be the, the everything, mm -hmm. everything. So we're looking forward for persons to participate. Come down there, it's a family day, the mm -hmm. kids zone, the whole work. So mm -hmm. be there. Any final words from you, sir? Yes, um, as you were saying, in terms of value added, there's a lot of um, surprising development when it comes to value adding um, of cocoa beans. Um, a lot of the St. Lucians are not aware of um, the number of um, different um, derivatives that um, are being um, produced from chocolate. And that is like a, a, a guarded secret because um, most of the, um, the persons who are involved in it owns or operate hotels. Mm -hmm. So it is more relegated to guests coming at the hotel. Right, right, right. So I um, for do have a, um, a, a same thing, a, a chocolate experience where um, they invite you, you pay your money, and then you produce your own chocolate. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that um, he gave me a samples of five different um, chocolates okay. that they produce. Okay. Percentage of this, percentage of that, and um, quite a few St. Lucian, and you don't see that on the shelf of Mass. Well, I just want to stop you there because you come to the end of the program. I want to thank you for being yeah. here, and hopefully that program will be a great one. You have been watching Agriculture in the Move. Well, thank you for viewing the program. Don't forget our Coco Festival, mm -hmm. Sunday coming, the 15th of October, in Sofre. I'm Philip Sidney saying goodbye, and see you again. Yes, I.